Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and this is set number 80020, White Dragon Horse Jet from the Lego Monkey Kid theme. This set contains 565 pieces, 3 minifigures, and 1 cat, and will retail for $59.99 in the US. This is an all-new Monkey Kid set coming in March 2021, which was sent to me early by the Lego Group through the Lego Master Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. Before I get started, I'd just like to ask you guys to please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. A couple of days ago, I did early reviews of all 5 of the upcoming March 2021 Ninjago sets, and now over the next couple of days, I'll be doing reviews of all 7 of the upcoming March 2021 Monkey Kid sets. So by liking the video, you'll help support me and the channel, and by subscribing, you'll see those new reviews in your subscription box as soon as they're uploaded. But with all that out of the way, let's get on to the review. So to start, we'll take a look at the White Dragon Horse Jet itself, the main build of this set. This is probably my favorite build of this new Monkey Kid wave. I really, really love the colors on it. There's this blue color that they're using on like tons of themes nowadays, and I absolutely love it. This is such a cool color. But my favorite part of this is definitely the wings right here where they blend like the lime green into like the normal green into that bluish green. That's such a cool transition and I love how they use the Nexo Knight shields to do it and everything like it's genuinely just awesome. And that combined with the white all over which is just such a, like a blank slate of a color really makes those colors pop right there. Genuinely just such a cool and awesome design for a build. You can see this is a green blade coming out at the back. This is the same blade that was used in Prime Empire except it's green here instead of being like the trans lime green like that wave used. And it's just being used like representing this all stuff at the back of the jet. You can see there's a few touches of gold all throughout. There's some uh, stud shooters with like green studs shooting out. But, but that's about it in terms of like the broad details. I can show you so let me move the camera up closer so you guys can see the more intricate details. I really like what they did with like the front of the nose here where they have like the bottoms of these like uh, plates converge into the middle here to create like this really rounded shape. That looks really cool and I don't see like that technique used very often so it works really well here. Unfortunately though this is my least favorite part of the build the nose right here and that's just because of the way it's designed. I get what they were going for they were trying to make it look like a horse's face and honestly they did a great job this does look like a horse's face. My only thing is I would rather it not and that's just personal preference I would rather it actually look like a regular plane because I really like the color scheme design back here but the horse nose at the front just doesn't do it for me. But maybe I would like it better if I was more familiar with the monkey kit source material and again I could see how other people would like this when I don't it's just not for me but it's also probably very easy to modify if I wanted to to make it more plane like and as not a huge deal because it is probably the most minor part of the build and the rest of it looks really cool. You can see some nice slope texture on the side of the build here. You can see a combination of the blue, the dark green, and the lighter green over here on the side. A little stud shooter right there, some curved pieces just create some like different kinds of texture. I really like the angles in this like winged area right here with like this uh, bluish color right there. And then you have this cockpit piece in like trans green which is such a cool color. Like I, ho I wish they would use this more often instead of the trans lime green because the trans lime green is so ugly and this is such a cool color. Like I love this so much. But you can open this up just like this and get access to the cockpit inside. Inside there's a little seat for May to sit. You can attach it just like this. So now she can pilot the vehicle. I also find this console piece right here really interesting. It is a printed piece, but it feels like very ancient to me, if that makes any sense. It reminds me a lot of like classic, like maybe even like 80s, 90s Lego. Like this doesn't even feel like something I grew up with. So that's really odd that that's included there. I'm wondering what the context is behind that. But anyway, it's cool that it's a printed piece at least. There's how May looks inside the vehicle with the cockpit closed. I really like this area in the back with like these staggered wing bits right here. This first one has a little sticker on it, but the rest don't. And I just create, like, I love like all the triangular shapes all over it. Like triangles, I guess, is like the main aesthetic of this. And yeah, these look really, really cool right here. The coolest part for sure though has to be the wings. Again, two like big triangular pieces out the back to be like actual wings, and then you have wings going out the side just like this. You have these next one shield pieces right here, like alternating to create like this gradient of color right here. I know I already talked about this, but this just looks so good. Like such a cool part of the build and with the white surrounding it just genuinely looks so great. There's a little like stickered piece right here too, and some more like green and lime green on the side. Other side, very similar. It's got that same exact gradient. You have some uh, gold bar pieces in white here to create some texture, lots of like triangular shapes. And yeah, just all the colors continue out to the edge of the wing. On the inside of the wings, you have some turrets, except only one of them is real. That right there is the spring load shooter, but the rest of these are imaginary. And if you push back right here, the spring load shooter can be shot out. Same thing on the other side here, and there's how it looks from the front. If you couldn't tell, these wings could also be articulated individually. You could have them in like a more downward position like that, or straight out like this. You don't sound like down all the way like this, but then it won't be able to lie flat on the ground, but I still think it's a really cool look for it. This entire vehicle feels like very space-esque, and the colors all feel like very pristine and elegant. Genuinely probably my favorite build of this wave. I like this one a lot. Before I move on to the side builds though, I just want to show you guys something that just really bothers me. As I said, this is probably my favorite build of this entire wave, but my issue with it comes in when I look at the price. As I said, Lego sent this to me. I appreciate Lego sending this to me. It means the world to me, but... Lego's not sending this to everybody, so I do want to like take into consideration how much this would cost a consumer when doing my review. And I'm sorry, but this is not a $60 set. 
I normally don't do this in my reviews, but I got out some other sets for comparison. So here is the Kai Fighter from Ninjago in 2020. This set was $40 and it contains about the same number of pieces. It contains about 50 less pieces, but it also doesn't come with the side build of this set. So most of those pieces are probably in the side build. And then this is Jay's Storm Fighter from 2019, also from Ninjago. This contains about 70 less pieces than this set. So this set contains slightly less pieces than this set as a whole, but overall they're relatively similar size in terms of the vehicles. And if you look at the physical size too, they are about the same. This is a bit bulkier while this is a bit wider, but they're quite similar. And if you look at the piece counts, that lines up. So these should be a similar value. However, they're just not. This is $60 while these two are $40, and I'm sure like the conversion while it's different numbers will be similar in other countries. And I'm sorry, I just don't get why this is the way it is. Like, Monkey Kid is a LEGO original theme just like Ninjago is. They don't have to pay the Star Wars tax to Disney. Like, this should not cost any more to produce than this. So why does this cost $20 more? It does have a side build, but this has more minifigures, so like, what's the difference? If it was like a $10 difference, I could forgive it, but $20 is significant, and there's not that significant of a difference between these two builds. And that's my biggest problem with the Monkey Kid theme as a whole. You'll see that in a lot of these reviews that I'm doing. It's just, there's a lot of great designs, but a lot of terrible prices. But I know people don't always like when I talk about prices, so I'll move on to the side builds. I just want to express how frustrated that makes me, because I want more people to have the opportunity to get this set, but they can't, because it's just so expensive. Another thing with these two is, these two weren't LEGO Store exclusive, so they eventually went on sale for only $32. Well, this will remain $60 probably for its entire lifespan. But yeah, I'm, I'm on a tangent now. Let's, let's move on to the side builds. <laughs> So here's the side build included in this set, and I think this is actually really fun. You got like the classic like Fabuland street lamp there that you always see in modulars, but it's in black here interestingly, which I don't know if I've gotten in that color before, so that's really cool. And then you have like the Spider-Man spiderweb piece here to like represent the spider uh, characters that are in this theme. And with the way it's hanging, you can have someone like get caught up in the web just by attaching them to like that little stud in the middle. There's a little sewer grate in the middle too, which is a nice print. But the coolest thing is definitely this little machine right here. It's like a mystery capsule sort of thing. It reminds me of like when you go to the mall and there's like those little machines you can put a quarter in and you get like a little random toy in a capsule. That's what it reminds me of. Technically like the design is very similar to the vending machine from the Ninjago City docks, like the uh, cold drinks vending machine. But yeah, it's like a mystery capsule sort of thing. You can see like in the uh, print right here, it has like a bunch of question marks. It says go. It's got like a mystery monkey. And then you can see like there's the mystery capsule right there. And then this like little display stem, the size is supposed to be like all the different things you can get, which is really cool. Obviously, this is a bit bigger than the ones you'd see in an American mall, but I still like, like the idea of it and it allows it to be like actually working. So how it works, the guy comes with like a little phone print right here. You can also just use a money print if you have it, but that doesn't come in this set. And you stick it in this little slot right here, and you push in, and then a random capsule comes out. This one was like that little golden tile that you can see right there. And if we push in it again, we could probably get a different one. Yep, that one there is the ladybug. That's from the latest CMF, but it comes in this set, which is really cool. Let's try it again. All right, let's see what this one is. This one is like the white tile with a little flower on it. That's a really cool piece. And then I believe this will be the last one. Yeah, this one has like the Spider Queen, like little green spider design on it. So the caps are just one by one cylinders, like printed rounded tiles on top of them. And you actually only get four of them for the capsules. They show six here. The ones you don't get are the strawberry and the egg. However, you do get extra pieces for both the strawberry and the egg. So if you want to swap one of these out for either one of those, you could. And obviously you can always put your own in too. If you have your own printed tile from like Lego dots or from another theme, you can put them in on top of like a transparent cylinder and it would work perfectly well. So I really like this build. I think it's a ton of fun. And I like the whole mystery aspect. It's just like a fun thing I don't think we've ever gotten before in LEGO. It's really well done. Here's another side build included in this set. You have this little like spider drone guy. These guys come in a ton of sets, but they're all slightly different. This one's uniqueness is that he has large teeth for all of his feet, and then he's got like this larger back area with that little like spider print that you saw in the capsule. He's also got this like little red drone eye at the front, which most of them have, and then he's got this like a little green disc on the top. They're a cute design, and I like how they come in so many sets because it makes them very army buildable, and it's nice to get like more drones for the spider army, but there's nothing too special about this guy in particular. And then finally, what I'd argue is the best part of this set and the best part of any LEGO set ever is this little uh, little flyer for the cat, uh, Mo. This has this little like water thing shooting out the back. It has two studios on the side. It's got this really awesome sticker right here with Mo with uh, really cool glasses on, and it's all scratched up because uh, if you didn't know, he's a cat. And I genuinely, I, I'm joking, but like I genuinely find this really fun. I love goofy little builds like this, and this is absolutely perfect. It's got two studs in the back for you to attach Mo to, and you can attach him just like that, and you can fly around and fight the bad guys. Genuinely just so cool, so awesome. I love this a lot. Here are the first two characters in the set. We have May and we have Mo. 
May is in like her updated like season two look, I believe. As I've said before, I'm not super familiar with like the Monkey Kid Source material, but I believe this is like the updated version of her. I'm not sure when it's from. And this is a super, super nice design. Like I love how intricate and detailed the torso is. And it continues a little bit into the legs. Honestly, the legs are a bit of a drop off. Would have been cool if they had more going on, but the torso is definitely super cool. It's got this like front facing dragon face. It looks like it's a uh, jacket and it's all like zipped up and everything. So cool. You have the Ninjago dragon hilt right here in white, which is a really like cool recall for that piece. I know that was in the first wave of Monkey Kid, but this is my first time getting it, and it's really nice. And then you have, like, this uh, green blade here. I believe this piece was originally introduced with Nexo Knights, but, yeah, it's cool to see it reused here. I love her hair piece, too, with these, like, green printing on top of the black hair. It looks really nice. Like, it's so cool, and I love, like, the two little ponytails in the back, and then she has the little, little hair that comes down and comes out the back right there. She has the Mr. E armor in gold, same as Monkey King, which is interesting. And, yeah, I think this looks really good. My main complaint with this figure is she does not come with her helmet. Most of the sets, she comes with her hair and her helmet but this set she only comes with her hair meaning her helmet for this wave at least is exclusive to the 150 dollar set and that's just disappointing like it's her vehicle like she comes in her helmet in sets where she definitely does not need it so she should probably come with it here so it's really disappointing that she doesn't but at least you do get like a good looking figure even without it and then Mo, Mo is my absolute favorite. Mo is a cat with a mohawk. I don't know anything about the Monkey Kid Source material. I'm not sure who he is, but I think he's awesome. He's a blue cat and he has a mohawk. I want to be his friend. But genuinely, he is a really cool design. I love his little angry face with the orange, bright orange mohawk. It's a nice contrast with like the uh, light blue on his body and everything. I like the white printing right there and his little tiny pink nose. He's a really, really cute figure. I like this guy a lot. And there is May with her armor and hair removed, so you can better look at her face print or torso. Face print, I think, is good. I think it's a cool design to have, like, the one uh, glass over the eye. It looks like she's, like, getting ready to focus in battle. And she's got a fairly neutral expression there. And then turning her around, you can see her back torso print and alternate face. That alternate face is really interesting. I do like it because it is quite expressive. My main issue with it is every version of her this wave comes with that face. So as someone who doesn't have any of the first or second wave of sets, I have three of this face. And it's not a good as just, like, a neutral expression. However, I like it as an option for her. She's, like, winking and smiling. It's very full of personality. I do like that. And the back of her torso is really cool too. You have like this golden armor in the middle and you can see like the sides of the jacket like go up her body. So nice. Like genuinely really nice. I like this figure. And then the next and final two figures in the set are Huntsman and C or Psy. It's spelled S-I. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, Huntsman is like one of the Spider Queen's warriors and he's a really cool look. He's got like this little like neck uh, attachment right here. I believe that was originally from Lego Marvel, I want to say, but I'm not positive there. I like his four like uh, bright green eyes to show that he's a spider person. I think that's really fun. I also really like his little hair ponytail attachment. I'm not sure if that's new for him, but it's really cool. I think I could, like that reprinted in white could probably work for like Sensei Wu, which is interesting. Um, I like his torso print too with like the uh, touch of like lime green on top of the black and purple. The color scheme of like the spider villain is really fun and it's like one of my favorite color schemes so I'm a huge fan of how this guy looks and then you can see like his long coat continues into his leg printing too. C is a fairly generic citizen he's just got a fairly neutral face he's got Dareth's hair in black and then a pretty nice jacket piece and then just plain blue legs nothing much to say about him but it's nice that he was included at all. Here these two are with their hair and accessory removed you can better look at the torso print of the huntsman here you can see a bit of his chest is showing which I think is cool. I genuinely just think this guy's a really cool figure he comes in quite a few sets so he's not that hard to get but yeah I think he's really well done. And then here these two are from the back you can see the back torso print of the huntsman he's got like these metallic silver spider legs on his back which are really cool and then just like purple like ropes and a purple belt and everything and then he's got like this purple fur on the back of his jacket genuinely just such a cool figure i like this guy a lot no back face print or head print or anything because his hair like covers it up and not all the way so obviously you can't have an alternate face but i think that's okay and he still looks good C has an alternate face, which is just like the classic Lego screwing face, and I think it fits well here. He's supposed to have him like trapped in the spider's web, so that makes sense that he'd have that. And then the blue jacket from the back does look quite good, too. So overall, would I recommend this set? Okay, listen, I already did my rant about the price to you, so you know my opinions on the price. But price aside, this is one of the better sets of the wave. If it wasn't for the price, I may say this was my favorite, but... That price really ruins the set for me, because, well, if you just look at the piece count, it's not terrible. When you compare it to other sets that have, like, no reason to be any cheaper than it, that are $20 cheaper, I just don't get it. But the design of the set itself is really pretty and super unique. The color grading and everything is just, like, something I've never seen LEGO do before, and it generally just looks amazing. And that combined with the blank slate of just the white jet makes this look, like, really elegant. As I expressed, I'm not a huge fan of the horse face at the front, but I can acknowledge it's really well done. So if you like the idea of the horse face at the front, I'm sure you'll love this set because it does do that really well. Huntsman is a great figure, but he comes in multiple sets, so he's not really a draw for this set in particular. And this version of May is good, but she doesn't come with her helmet, so you probably want to get her helmet some other way, so it's kind of pointless to get her here. 
Mo is nice to get. It's nice to get him in a cheap set. It's weird to see him in a set without Sandy, but I'm happy to get him because I think he's an awesome figure and I genuinely just really like this little cat. Oh, and the side build is just fun too. I love the little like mystery capsule vending machine. That's such a fun idea and they executed it so well. So yeah, I'd say as a whole, aside from the price, I would recommend this set. This is a pretty good one, but that price just really holds it back for me. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As I said at the beginning of this video, if you guys could please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm not sure what order these videos are going to be going up, but I'm reviewing all of the March 2021 like Monkey Kid sets. So if you go to the channel now, there's probably some other reviews, and there'll be more reviews over the next couple of days. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll see them like as soon as they're posted. But I think that's all I got to say for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.